Loretta, tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now. I'm scared to see his face again. <laughs> I saw a video today and it really pissed me off and I thought it would be a very selfish thing to do if I don't share this story with you so I'm here to piss you off before we get into the whole video let me Sonny V2 this shit up for you two characters in this situation Dean a 29 year old man with a fiance and two guests living a happy life when one morning he got a knock on his door police officers swatted their way in handcuffed them and blamed him for a EDP activity and a 29 year old Miss Loretta the victim where back in the day 14 years ago she was 15 years old she was walking to school one day and a man just pushed her pushed himself on her unfortunately back in the day there was no predator hunting shows streamers who would catfish these predators walk up to them and start slapping them one by one Get out of my way what the fuck? There was none of that. Obviously, Miss Loretta, when she was 15, she went through a horrible thing. But what she did next was also horrible. She went, pointed at the first black person. We don't know if it was a neighbor or not because internet was not that well developed where every single thing is documented. So we absolutely have no idea what exactly happened in the court that day 14 years ago. He wasted 14 years of his life without even watching his kids grow up. For what reason? Because she thought it was him. Now, this is not what's pissing me off. What's pissing me off is the fact that she's crying. And after 14 years of destroying this man's life, she is still crying and playing the victim. And everyone is on her side. Tomorrow, he's going to be here. Will you think about it? And if you think it's not productive, then don't do it. But I think it would be helpful. I do think it might help you for no other reason than to... Maybe see him in a different light. Might be a healing thing for you and for him. I, I don't know. I, if you do, I will be right there with you. You will not be unsafe in any way whatsoever. I, I want to get you all the information you can. I want to be sure we're dealing with the facts and then help you start moving forward with this. Yes, sir. Because you've paid enough. It's time for you to be get some closure on this and just have some joy with your husband and your family. What do you, what do you think of her? Hmm. I could see that she's afraid. I feel bad the way she feel because she still think I'm this person that I'm, I'm not. And I would like for her to get a closure in all of this. I'm a victim in this as well. I am so impressed that you're not just fighting, spitting, angry, mad about this whole thing. Dr. Phil, 100% he was punching walls for the first two years that he was in prison trying to prove that his innocent imagine you're, you just wake up one day you're happy with your family what a beautiful day you get knocked at the door arrest this donkey shame on you shame and you lose your life not even that your whole reputation is ruined you're a convicted felon why because someone thought it was you but then after 14 years dna results came out that it actually wasn't you now i want to talk to the prosecutors of this case who who was handling this case after 14 years a dna comes out 14 years the prosecutor who was handling this case i want to see what where was the evidence on this whole thing just because she pointed and she said this man did it to me and everyone just went boop case closed all right bring me the next case 100 percent, the prosecutor needs to be held accountable for this because this is just not fucking acceptable and i know nothing's going to happen in this situation because this is just another day in the justice system. Y'all haven't really uh, met before, but but here you are. So, Loretta, tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now. I'm scared mm -hmm. to see his face again. It's scary. Mm -hmm. you, you've seen his face in the meat market, and you've seen his face in court but you haven't seen his face in an alley and you haven't seen his face other places and you get that up here right yes sir but it's still emotional down here so now we know they've crossed path but not in the alleyway where the incident happened but in the markets and other places where they came across looked at each other maybe was there a witness was there a camera was there no justice in that court that that person saw them in the market but never saw them in the alley where the incident happened but i think that's him yeah I, you know what i'm tired of thinking and i'm tired of you know you bringing me all these people to look at it was him put him in jail so i can finally get some closure Tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now. I just, I just hate 
that you had to go through something like this. I hate that I had to go through something like this because of this situation. And I hope and pray that we both can get closure in this. Translation said, fuck you, bitch. I'm just here to collect my money and look good. He is cursing her out from the inside. I can just read it. He gives no touche. He absolutely hate this woman for wasting 14 years of his life. When he says he wants both of them to heal is for her to heal emotionally. He doesn't really give a shit about her. But for that $50 million lawsuit coming into his pocket from the city. That is a pretty good closure to me. Honestly, 14 years would have been worth it. And I'm truly hoping this guy actually bags a shit ton of money for this. Because he is sitting there and pretending. It is harder than the 14 years he spent in jail. Pretending like he feels sorry for this woman. After everything she's done to his life. What, what do you think about what Dean had to say? I'm sorry. Did you last? <laughs> <laughs> <a> laugh. <laughs> Why the fuck are you clapping? <laughs> He's trying to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Joe> Mom. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt you. I just wanted to tell the truth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aren't you doing good, Loretta? Stay with us. Here. She's definitely on the right side over here. Everyone should 100% be on her side in this situation. Clap for her for being so brave on sitting next to the guy who didn't do shit to her. And stay, stay strong, woman. And, you know, those tears 100% show true bravery. I think... I think you need to understand and some of the things that you haven't heard Dean say, but he gets that you were 15 and he gets that you were hurt really, really bad by somebody. And he, and he hates that for you. Also, one thing I wanted to say, this man is 43 years old right now. When I first saw him, I thought he was 25. I thought he was like the same age as her, 29 or 30 max. What the fuck was his skincare in prison? Bro looks so young. Actually, wait, never mind. What do you hope for this man going forward? That he can get relationships with his kids again. Can you tell that him? That he can forgive can, can me. Can you tell him instead of me? I hope you can get relationships with your sons again. How weird. This whole chain of events was set in play by what happened in that alley that day. You didn't ask for that. You didn't ask for that. This was all set in motion by somebody that isn't here. I want to try to find this person that's out there because they're out there and this, this DNA is going to match up somewhere, somehow. They're going to find this person if he's still alive and he may not be. Given his activity, somebody may have killed him. I want you two to work together. Daniel Tweeten is uh, Dean's attorney and, and he's with us today. I mean, where are you, Dean? Right here. Um, what I'm saying is I hope everybody works together to try to bring as much justice here as we can possibly get. And we have the same exact interest. No, we do not have the same interest in this situation, Mr. Dean's lawyer. What did Dean do? Why is Dean involved in this situation in the first place? This person, Loretta, yes, like I said, it's a horrible thing to go through, but you cannot blame people just because you think it was them. And okay, she said, I wish you can forgive me, and she's still crying. Why is she still crying? Is it because she feels bad that she put this man who was in a happy relationship and has two kids and missed 14 years of his kid's life just because of that no she is crying because she's still scared of him because in her head she still thinks this man did this to her we are pursuing a lawsuit so that to the extent dean's constitutional rights were violated by the uh the police and the investigators in this case 100 percent. anyone involved in this case the police all the way to the court anyone involved needs to be jailed and their dogs and cats and their grandmas need to be jailed for this as well because this is a pure joke how can you get someone wrongfully convicted for 14 and after 14 years you find out that oopsies sorry okay guys let this guy go case number 25868 was actually a normal guy living his life give him a pat on his back apologize and let him go back live his life like nothing happened fuck this if i was him i would honestly sue for millions and millions and the city should pay if anyone's wrongfully convicted if they're not going to be putting these people who are 
even even Loretta needs to be jailed for this in my eye. If the victims like Loretta and these uh, police officers and the people in court are not going to be going to jail, there needs to be a law at least. First of all, the first law needs to be they need to go to jail. Second option needs to be if anyone's convicted wrongfully, because there are people who are wrongfully convicted for more than 14 years, they need to be paid for every single second of them spending that time in jail. I'm talking millions of dollars needs to, pay, needs to be paid for these guys. So next time, the detectives, uh, the court people, and the prosecutor is going to take their job seriously and look for hard proof evidence that this person actually did it or not. I hope you two can help each other moving forward in this really i hope you can really help each other and you're willing to do that right right yes. that's what we want Ronnie, anything you want to say um we talked about it last night now if this man ever comes across this video i have a message for you brother run run away because she takes the throne away from boogie 2988 on playing the victim god forbid if you two get into an argument she'll be blaming you for everything and you will be spending the next 14 years of your life in prison while she's running off with the next guy i don't know why i'm so pissed off about this situation there's something in me it's not even the sun from inside i am boiling i accept your apology I would have accepted the apology too the second I knew I have a strong case and this is going to be helping my case by sitting and faking sympathy for this woman. Get that money, bro. I swear to God, he deserves every single million sent to his wallet. The hardest thing about this right now, Loretta? Being here next to him. All right, you know what? This woman is beyond traumatized. Even if they find the right guy in her head, that this person did it all along. End of the day, it was a traumatic thing she went through. I hope she heals from it. No one has to go through this whole situation. And this guy, 100%, didn't have to go through this. And I hope he gets every cent sent from the city exactly goes into his pockets. But yeah, this whole thing just pissed me off. And I just wanted to piss you off with this video as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you enjoyed these videos make sure to hit that subscribe button take care of yourself i will see you at the next 